Hello and welcome back to the Watford Way today as we preview Watford versus Millwall at Vicarage Road on Boxing Day, of course, the day after Christmas. We're in the run up to Christmas at the moment. As I record this, it's two days before the big day. So as your Christmas present to me, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel, like this video and let me know your Christmas plans in the comments section down below. I know a lot of people celebrate Christmas, but a lot of people also don't. So if you aren't celebrating, I hope you have a lovely time regardless um, and go and spend some quality time with your family if you can. But we're here to preview Watford versus Millwall. Of course, Millwall beat Watford um, early on in Slavan Bilic's reign, I think 3-0 and actually all three of their goals come via set pieces i believe i did a watch along on the channel for that game as well so you want to see my reaction to the goals um warning i wasn't very happy you can go and check that video out but yes it wasn't a very good game i think millwall really from what i remember dominated us physically as i said all three of their goals come via set pieces we couldn't cope with them at all you know millwall away i think it was a midweek game as well it's always going to be a very very tricky game um but yeah, you know, Watford should be looking to kind of avenge that result at Vicarage Road on Boxing Day. Slavin Village has obviously had a lot more time since that game to get to know his players, to work on his tactics. And hopefully, fingers crossed, we'll see a lot more of a positive result. But before we dig into that a little bit more, there has been a lot of news in regards to Watford since I last uploaded a, vid a video. Most notably, Ben Manga has joined as technical director from Eintracht Frankfurt, with Helen Acosta joining as head of scouting, with potentially more of Ben Manga's former team to follow in the coming days and weeks, which hopefully, for me, signals a change in regards to Watford's recruitment policy. And actually, hopefully, it means Cristiano Giorretta either leaves the club or is assigned a new role, because I don't think any Watford fans have been particularly impressed with some of Cristiano Giretta's decisions in regards to transfers. Obviously, a lot of the decisions come from Gino Pozzo, but Cristiano Giretta, that was his primary primary role, really, um, to find talents for Watford and, and to kind of build a team. But he hasn't really done so that successfully. Yes, we've picked up some good players. Hamza Chowdhury's performed well. Keenan Davis has, has done really well as well. But apart from that, you look at Raymond I. Uh, vacuum bio, various other players. It's not really worked out at Watford for them. So hopefully this signals um, a new era for, for Watford in regards to transfers and recruitment. And he did a really, really good job, Ben Manga, at Eintracht Frankfurt. And um, they're doing really, really well in the German Bundesliga at the moment. He's built, he's built a fantastic team for them there. So hopefully if he can replicate um, you know, any of that at Watford, I'll be really, really happy. And Helen Acosta as well has got a fantastic record herself. She joins as head of scouting, working closely with Ben Manga. So hopefully them two as a team with more with more people to follow as well. Hopefully that is going to signal um, good news for Watford's, for Watford's future in regards to transfers. Another bit of news to speak to you about is Leandro Bakuna joining Watford on a free transfer. Now, as I've mentioned in previous videos, as, as I'm sure you're all aware as well, uh, Watford haven't had a fantastic injury record, especially in midfield this season. We've looked at the likes of Tom Cleverley, Imran Loser, Dan Gold. Lynn, Tom Deli Bashiri himself has only recently just returned um, from quite a long injury layoff as well. So we've really struggled in the area um, to have really any consistency at all. Hamza Chowdhury has done really well. He himself, again, has just had a long injury layoff. I think he's going to be um, unavailable for, you know, four to five weeks, which is such a shame. So a player in that area was much needed. And for me, um, it was either waiting until January, where obviously Ismail Kone joins from Montreal over in the MLS, or it was get a body in straight away and hope they make an immediate impact. And Watford have done so, and they've brought in Leandro Bakuna, formerly of Cardiff City. Um, I'd say he's a box-to-box -box midfielder from what I've seen. Um, you know, Watford fans saw him against Huddersfield most recently. Obviously, we won 2-0 there, courtesy of the two fantastic João Pedro goals. And he looked OK. I think he said he struggled for fitness at times in that game, which is understandable considering he's not played um, much football, if any, this season. Obviously coming in on a free transfer. He wasn't at a previous club, so that's how Watford have kind of managed to bring him in. Um, but I think he was much needed and hopefully just for the next four, five, six games, however long he's needed, hopefully he fills in in that position, does reasonably well until obviously Ismail Kone joins in January and hopefully, you know, the likes of Tom Cleverley, Imran Loser, Dan 
and Gosling. Um, you know, a lot of them are longer term injuries, but as soon as they get back, um, I'm sure they'll slot straight back into the team. So good to see Watford have sorted out that midfield issue um, and hopefully uh, he can perform really, really well for Watford. So welcome to Watford, Leandro Bakuna. And let's talk a bit more briefly about the Millwall game. Millwall obviously currently sitting 10th in the championship table. I think for me, this game is more about, you know, putting things right. Obviously, as I mentioned, the 3-0 defeat earlier this season against Millwall was absolutely abysmal. One of the worst games I've watched this season. It was very early on in Slavan Bilic's Watford career. Um, I wasn't very impressed. Obviously, we had loads of injury issues. We've had the transition from Rob Edwards to Slavan Bilic. There was a lot of stuff going on at the time, um, but I'm feeling a lot more positive now. Obviously, we've gone on a run of four clean sheets in a row. If we keep a clean sheet against Millwall on Boxing Day, that will actually be our fifth clean sheet in a row, which for Watford, I think will be a record um, since 2001. So it'll be the most clean sheets we've kept in a row in the championship since 2001, which is absolutely fantastic to see. And it just goes to show um, how well Slavan Bilic has done with the players at his disposal, because a lot of the defenders we've had at the club and a lot of the defenders that have played this season have been at the club for a really, really long time. Obviously, we brought in Courtney House on loan from Aston Villa. That, again, hasn't worked out very well. Again, an injury issue there. Um, but I think, for me, Craig Cathcart is, has been the standout defender for me. Again, he's been at the club for a very, very long time, since 2014. Whether it be in the Premier League or the Championship, he's done so, so well for Watford. One, you know, he could possibly go down as a Watford legend in my book. He's so, so good. So calm on a ball. Yes, he does lack that little bit of pace. Yes, he can get beaten in them kind of situations. But largely, he's very calm, very cool. Um, and it's a fantastic defender. So Craig Cathcart, for me, has been the standout in that area. Uh, moving on to some of Slavan Bilic's comments. He says, largely, he's expecting the Watford squad to be the same as we saw against Huddersfield. He did mention there had been a virus going around, with I think Keenan Davis and a couple of other Watford players being affected by that. He did, he did go on to say they're pretty much OK and ready to go. Um, it's just not quite sure whether a couple of players will miss out. But largely, we're expecting the same squad as we saw against Huddersfield. And I thought the Huddersfield performance was good in part. Um, yes, we still do look very susceptible at the back at times. But João Pedro, again, you know, arguably the best player in the championship. Up to eight goals now for this season. His first finish was fantastic. And again, his second goal, the header, um, was superb. The goalkeeper couldn't get anywhere near it. And that put the game to bed, really. So great performance by João Pedro. Good performance by Watford. And hopefully we'll build on that now. You know, to try and challenge for these automatic promotion places. Burnley have done wonders this season under Vincent Company. They're 10 points ahead of Watford at the moment. So I think for me, um, it's going to be really, really difficult to compete to actually win the championship. So I think for Watford, um, obviously the players will be looking to win every game. But I think for me, looking at the table, looking at where Burnley are and looking at where Watford are, um, I think we're more likely to finish in that second promotion spot, which means we have to be really, really consistent in our results. We can't afford to keep picking losses here and there, you know, picking up draws here and there. We have to turn these draws and losses into wins um, to create some consistency in this league because that's how you get promoted from the championship. You need to be consistent, you need to score goals and you need to be defensively sound. So hopefully we can do that going into the future games um, and hopefully Ismail Kone joining in January. Obviously, Leandro Bakuna is joining, Matthias Martins. We've gone out and we've brought some good players. So hopefully these players, when they join, will make an impact um, and hopefully towards the end of the season, we'll see Watford rise up the league and get promoted back to the Premier League. So let me know your thoughts on this game in the comments section down below. As I said at the start of the video, if you are celebrating, I hope you have a fantastic Christmas. And if you could be so kind, if you haven't already, as your Christmas present from yourself to me, please subscribe to the channel. It'd be much appreciated. And I'll catch you again for another video very, very soon. Bye-bye.